I literally just filmed half of this video without my mic plugged in. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley. I hope you are doing a really great today. Today I am bringing you back with another trans education video. However, this one is going to be more about my personal experience and kind of like opinions and less educational. But I still hope you stick around to hear what I've got to say. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about being femme, fat, and fucked up. I made a video previously on this channel a while ago now called Girly Boy, basically where I talked about being a feminine trans guy and what that's like in the community. And I'm I'm gonna touch on some of those aspects today, but not primarily. I tend to consider myself more of an out-of-the-box, non-binary trans guy, just related to my gender, but like out-of-the-box, also within my gender, if that makes sense. I'm feminine. I'm feminine in my personality. I'm feminine in my physical traits. I have an inflection in my voice that is a feminine inflection. I talk with my hands a lot, and a lot of masculine identifying people don't do that. I tend to dress more androgynous, and I don't try to look super masculine, mainly because I think masculinity is toxic, but that's my opinion. Number two is that I am fat. This is not a secret. I didn't gain any muscle when I started testosterone, probably because I don't work out at all. But I did gain a hundred pounds from my increased appetite and just from the testosterone itself. And from the gain weight, I gained curves, which was exactly the opposite of what I was looking to do. I am also incredibly short, even for a girl. In like girl terms, if I were a girl, I would be incredibly short. Also, out of that stereotypical masculine trans guy box, I look awful shirtless. You see all these trans guys in the media and everywhere else posted on social media and they're hot as fuck with their shirt off and I look like a potato. I mean, y'all saw that in the last trans that I posted. Like, you only saw my chest, but if you would have seen my stomach, it's like, yikes. And the third thing is that I'm mentally ill, for lack of a better term, fucked up. I'm not the like romanticized depressed boy where oh, everything is fixed when I meet a girl or meet a boy that I love. I've got some serious mental health issues like depression, anxiety, borderline personality disorder, all being unrelated to me being trans. And it seems like with most trans people, their mental illnesses and their gender kind of correlate and once they start to transition or do what they need to do to feel affirmed in their own gender, their mental illnesses kind of start to subside and that was not the case with me at all because mine is caused by a chemical imbalance in my head and past trauma. So, it is not that romanticized, lovely version of being mentally ill. It's definitely more of a fucked up thing. And being kind of outside of the box and not really seeing other people like me in the media kind of gives you the feeling of, do I really belong here? Like, I feel like I don't necessarily belong in the community because I don't see anybody else like me. And like, along with being in the queer community and specifically the trans community, there's a lot of pressure for trans guys to be hyper-masculine because that's what a lot of them are. Like, you see a lot of hyper -masculine masculine and trans guys that like go to work out and stuff and if that's something that you really want like that's totally okay and it's not a bad thing but there's a lot of pressure for the guys who aren't naturally like that to want to be like that just to fit in. But there's a whole community of us outside, like me, for example, that do not fit in this perfect little box bubble of what you think a trans guy is. And I've said this before, there is no rules to being a trans guy. There are no specific steps that you have to follow to be in the community. I mean, as long as you don't identify with the gender that you were assigned at birth, you're trans and that's kind of like the whole idea of it. But I'm femme fat and fuck up and I don't have representation in the community so I'm trying to strive to be that representation for other kids who are femme, fat, and fucked up so they have someone to like at least look at. Like come on. But that's what I just wanted to talk about today. Wanted to talk about being femme, fat, fucked up. There was really nothing to come of this video. I just wanted to talk about it. There's not really a point. I just wanted to discuss it. But if you stayed tuned for thus far I really appreciate you and you might want to give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out and kind Comment below if you agree with me or if you don't see representation for you in your community, whichever community that may be. You should definitely subscribe because we are so freaking close to 2,000 subscribers and we might have hit it by the time this video is posted, which is absolutely mind-blowing to me. I cannot believe we're almost there. If you want, you can follow me on all of my social media to keep up with me day to day. Specifically Snapchat, it's The Riley Kyle. You can find all of the links to everything in the description. You can also click the little bubble 
couple things on the screen to subscribe to this channel and to my vlog channel. And you can click the little video box to go see my last video. I'm still learning where everything is, so I'm not really pointing to it. But that's what I've got today. I love you guys, and I will see you on Thursday. Okay, bye!